Welcome, this is Reich. This is also a change of pace from what I originally planned on doing, so I'm going to do the bit of 100 tri trials in this episode. I skipped all the setup because it took like 10-15 minutes. I didn't think it was useful. So basically, in this pit of 100 trials, what I gotta do is basically hunt down the enemy that has the key. And whichever enemy is the one that has the key is the- oh, I can't believe it took damage. Whichever enemy has the key, which is this one, is the one that I need to get to. I can warp in 3D and I can go down to the wall and I can just immediately go to the door from there. It's pretty simple. As for the items that I got to go into this dungeon, um, I picked up a, uh, I picked up a freaking, whatchamacallit, I picked up, I cooked up two 50 HP items, I bought a 50 HP item, and I bought a shroom shake, and so the two items that I cooked up were the, uh, it was a fire burst and a shroom shake, like regular shroom shake, and it creates the emergency rations, which let you, uh, oh, Jesus, uh, the shroom, um, it only heals 10 HP if you're not in the pit. So, yeah, there we go, yeah, you can do a jumping fire attack on carry, which is kind of neat and really useful. So let's just try to figure out exactly where I need to go, because i gotta find it, and basically I'm gonna start chopping up this um, format because this is going to take very long if I do not start chopping this up differently. So what I'm going to do is pretty much when I get the key I'm going to cut to the next floor because that's what I find to be the most simplistic way to do it. So this guy can only be the one with the key so as we just burst him into flames get the key and here we go through the door. So from here on out I'm just going to just keep on jump hop jump skipping. So the reason I picked Bowser and Carrie is that it's the fastest combination you can have and up, see, look, key. It's generally the fastest combination you can have, and so as I'm just, oh, there we got the key. It's the fastest combination because it does the most damage in the shortest amount of time, and I can also just attack on carry to certainly pick up the pace, and so let's just hunt down whichever one has the key. We are key hunters. Uh, you can shorten that, but I'm not gonna because I'm pretty sure that's offensive. Oh, look, key! And so I am very much prepared to have a very long recording but I'm going to be able to cut a lot of it out as soon as that guy jumps into this. There we go. And the enemies do get more difficult as it goes on, but uh, they aren't like the biggest worry until like the later later floors. Look, key. But I'm definitely... Oh Jesus, I leveled up. Oh! And I also, I got a charm from the best charm possible from Merlin Me, and for free, because you get the free charm, and uh, that lets you basically, like every other item, uh, not item. Every other enemy can give you stuff. Oh, I got poisoned. Here's how you cure poison, by the way. You get Piccolo, and you hit one, and she cures your poison for you. Ain't that kind of neat? So poison, go away. No? Yes? Oh, nope. Oh, yeah. oh nope. Okay. Things, just colors go in different directions. Oh, got the key. So, yes, every ten floors also nets you a chest, and the chest is usually a pixel card for this one. This one's the tippy one. I also do like how there's like Game & Watch-esque uh, backgrounds. Like I think that's a really cool like motif kinda. So let's just get Bowser and the usual suspect carry as we just take all this poison damage because we're dumb. Oh come on, there we go. And more poison damage. More poison damage. There we go. So I guess I gotta go down to the one down there. I really want this poison to go away, but I don't have anything that cures poison, right? Uh, n no, but I do have a long last shake, which this is the perfect chance to use it. So, tilt as shown, and we're just gonna keep on doing this. So basically this is gonna give us some temporary health boosts to regen the damage that we lost from poison. So, um, one, one. There we go, we're counteracting. So, does this have the key? Oh yes it does, here we go. So, as we just keep on regenerating health, I'm trying to make sure I don't drop down from a bad position, because I, I really don't want to do that, but sometimes you're kind of forced. Because if I, can get, if I can start under, I can at least jump up to flame breath. So, there we go. So, let's just scoot, keep on scooting. Oh, I can't hurt these guys with this. We're gonna need some more firepower. Firepower being Kudge power. So Kudge can just bam. That's how you break rocks. Our rocks get broken. Ooh, these guys. Don't they need bombs? They need do they do need bombs. Or can fire do? No, they need bombs. They really do need bombs. Come on, man. I don't got this many bombs to give. Does he have the key? No. We gotta do the shortcut. So the shortcut saves you so much time. 
I assume he doesn't have the key, which was right. Does he have the key? Come on, man. Eat it. Eat it. Turn around. There we go. Does he have the key? No, I wasted all that time for nothing. Are you kidding me? And it was just this cleft down here. One of these. So the quickest way to go through these is just to go process of elimination, process of elimination, more process of eliminations, elimination one, elimination two, elimination trezem, elimination, I'm going to drop all these Goombas down to the bottom floor. So that's also a quicker way, you gotta learn, you gotta learn some strats to think about how to, oh there we go, the strats are what's gonna save you the time so that you don't have to do stupid stuff later because the stupid stuff is what makes you take the, the stupid stuff is what's gonna make you take the longest amount of time so we got these guys and please have the key oh yes so sometimes you get your wishes answered sometimes you don't right now I'm sticking with Mario still because Mario Kudge seems pretty effective I mean it's not the fastest thing but it's what gets jobs done so with each floor taking about um, anywhere from 5 to 45 seconds. Uh, this this can kind of go take a while. This is gonna take a lot of time to take up, but we're just gonna try to make our way through because you know I got a hundred of these floors. It's a Koopa Troll. You don't see many of those. And he's, he didn't die, and he didn't even have it. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? So let's drop down, I guess, speed things up for process of elimination. So there we go. So the second. Uh, 20 chests. How long have I been going? Oh man, it's only, it's always been 10 minutes and I'm only fifth of the way through. That was a throw card if you couldn't read it. So, I mean a lot of this is going to have to cut out so it doesn't look like 10 minutes to you, but for me it's a lot of time. And so, right here, Kudge is super useful because I don't know if Bowser can damage him, but I'm also like half backing every single time I see an enemy die because I'm never sure if I actually got the key from them. Really, the last one gave me a key. Um, I can't use these items, dog. Um, they're, I guess the curse is kind of a wasteful right now, but whatever. Okay, so we got some booze. We can't hurt them normally, so we gotta try to use someone with a power of explosions. So, power of explosions, go. And power of explosions, go. Oh, are you kidding me? Power of explosions, go. None of them had it. None of them, really. None of them. That guy didn't either. Who the hell has it? And the door's over here. What enemies are left? What enemies are right? What enemies are upside down? Uh, okay, this one. So we got fuzzies, um, and this is where Bowser is going to be much more helpful than uh, any of them. So Bowser just lay waste to them, waste lay to them. We're going to stay away from that. That's something I need to do. Oh Jesus! Okay, so we busting on him. And we even got a key. So we got, this is a spring themed enemy, not the seasons, but you know what we all try to mean. Uh, there's a dark blue one down here. I like how there's like some with warm colors, some with cool colors, and some with a key inside them. So in room number 25, we're a quarter of the way there. Congratulations to me. And I can't believe I freaking, I have to use the pipe to go to the other side. There's pipes obviously in here, in this ring. That's how they vary it up to make it all seem different. Is there only one enemy at the bottom? Like really? Oh, oh Jesus, that's a real enemy. Um, so we're just gonna do the easiest way to do this, which is bam, oh, er, he, he did that. That was something that happened. So in this new room, we gotta switch back to Carrie, because Carrie's gonna be the one that's going to, I got two things to choose from. Oh God, there's so many pipes. Is there just pipes on pipe on pipes? I can't handle this much pipeitude. pipe ocity pipe lit hamp please be the key. Oh God, they can attack from dimensions. Here we go, drop down. Here we go. Down drop. Oh, gotta wake up. Can't wake up. Oh god. And I'm taking damage each time. So, there we go. Double dunk. And no. Which one of these has the secret key in it? Is it this one? No. Jesus. Who takes the wheel? Uh, so. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, hold on, wait. Oh, no, 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 no. So here's how you break every enemy in the game. A bad floor like that will happen, uh, but you just gotta learn to roll with punches. So, um, so it's just jumping flame, and you can just—I do like how you can just travel around at like borderline light speed. But I mean, like, and it's faster to go through the pipe than it is to switch to Mario, switch to 3D, switch back to Bowser. Because I want to keep Bowser at the moment because Bowser's pretty damn convenient. So. Let's just hop back on carry. Jumping fire. Oh no. Jumping fire. There we go. So, this is room 28. Oh god, we're almost three fifths of the way there. Hammer assault. I can't deal with it. 
but I can deal with it by not getting hit by it. Cause, oh, I don't know why they even have a five minute timer on each floor. Uh, Oh, I can't even touch the tail. Come on, dog. That's not cool. I do like that there is a nice balance in between all the players, except for Luigi, considering you don't really get Luigi before you even get here, so we get the boomer card. Like, Mario can warp in 3D, and he can, like, go down very quickly. Uh, Bowser can breathe fire, which is super useful here, because he makes pretty much all the a lot of the enemies, like, completely irrelevant. And look at that dunk. And then Peach has her defensive tactics of, like, the shield thing not the shield the umbrella and if you just like hover in it you can just get whatever you want uh oh jesus level up and a key so the best part about that level up was that it also replenished my oh it also replenished my health completely which saves me quite a bit of time so we're just going to drop down over here because i believe an enemy down here is more likely to have what i need um i hope to god it isn't that duplicating dude because that's gonna be annoying to deal with uh is it this guy please be this guy Oh, more items? I don't want more items, dog. You're just taking up more time. Power block, I ain't gonna use it, son. No seeds on buns. Uh, so back in this world, I'm going to need Kudge again for some dino stomping time. So one, two, oh, come on, three. Oh. Bows, are you serious? Are you serious? So I gotta deal with all this stuff. This is lame. Freaking Bowser's too tall to use Kudge. Like. That's actually a pretty distinct disadvantage, and that pro that had to have been intentional in the design of this, so I don't know why I even use that pipe that doesn't even save me time. I can just go to the open area. So I, I assume it's going to be an, an oh Jesus. I assume it's going to be an enemy over here. Uh, not over here. Uh, oh, uh, yes it is. So here we are. More weird enemies. These are seem to be a lot of enemies from the um, third door, or fourth door actually, because third door was freaking... Uh, anime reference town USA. Uh, oh god, where is he going? I can't control him. Uh -huh. Oh, geez, these guys fire rocks. Oh, come on. So, there we go. We just need to. Ooh, double dunk on him. So, now we are in. What is this? Oh, these are the guys from the Samurai guys. Uh, they're little ninjas. Uh, oh god, we need. Um, actually, we need Barry. Because Barry can reflect these things and make it to where you don't have to worry about them. The best thing about Mario really is his ability to uh, just immediately get to any grounded door at any given moment in this playthrough, which is so convenient. And these guys don't even want to get hurt. Come on, dog. That's like not cool. And Bowser can't even use it until he gets into an open area, such as right here. And please be the key. No? Okay. So the key is going to be probably that spike dude. It's the Spike Dude. It's gotta be the Spike Dude. So, Spike Dude? No, he just gives me Courage Shell. I, wait, I've already used an item? Oh, wait, I can breathe fire. So, oh god, Magic Koopas. What have we gotten ourselves into? We've gotten ourselves into something. That's how you break one. That's how you break two. And that's how you jump, dunk, dunk. Oh, you, I, I just jumped on that Spike Goomba. Some more Cubula Robololoids. And is that one the key? No. Which one is the key bearer? So jump, oh no, uh, so jump flame, jump flame, flame, come on man, I can't keep going spicy enchilada mode on y'all. Man, that was such a funny joke, please tell me he's not resistant to fire. If he's resistant to fire, I'm gonna cry. Don't be too resistant to fire. So here we are, this is room 40, I've only been, it's, I'm going at a consistent pace about 30 seconds for every level. But I'm also cutting out a lot of content, or relative each level, so... Uh, could I stop at 50 for this video? I mean, I kind of want to keep going though, because it is fun, so... These guys are easy to deal with. And I guess I can just jump on people if I have a carry on me, so... Any of these got a key? I don't know why I thought they did. So... So, any of these got a key on me. Man, like... Is it hard to carry a key in this world? I mean, Jesus. Oh, there we go. Land of the Pokies. Oh god, more items? I don't want more items, man. You're making it hard on me. Ooh, Flame Burst. I guess I can use that one time, uh, somewhere. So, can I? No. Okay, you're going away. No, Courage Shell, you're going away. Oh, nope. Courage Shell, you're going away. And there we go. So, oh, the soccer guys. These are from, uh, oh, he just, he's hurting himself. Dog. Oh, come on. 
you guys are just making it hard on yourselves. So we gotta get on carry to fire, well, grant to fire aerial style. Come on, oh, come on, come on, there we go. So where is a key? Key, so, key hunter round two, room 44. I can just blast these dudes to kingdom come with my kingdom of come. So that joke, I can't believe I've never heard before because that literally was improv in my mind. So it's, you can actually physically see the pixels start as a source when in this mode. So there we go. So in this new door, we can see that there is a, oh, missed it. Come on. I think I have this guy's card. Uh, does he do a lot? Yeah. Oh, no. That's just normal. Oh, wait. Jump. Jump. There we go. Bowser like floats on the ceiling a bit when he jump fires. So, oh come on. There we go. So we got Dimension Goombas, so I'm just gonna warp them all down to the bottom plane. We're gonna save some time. Because all these enemies are dimensional actually, so if any of these Goombas have the key, then... Ooh, no, 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 no. Please have the key, Goomba. Oh, okay. So now that I'm gonna go back to Bowser, so that way I can just flame on. Ew, no, no. Their invincibility from getting hit, from picking up that item, literally prevented them from dying. So here we are, room 48. I uh, got that guy before he was able to hit me with that, because those have like no startup. Or like, once they start up, you can't stop it, more to say. So, oh god, and they do a lot of damage too. That. It's actually something I gotta be careful about. So, oh, no, 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 I hate hexagons. So, let's bust out uh, something. There we go. I'm crafty. I thought of a way around it. Man, that hexagon is just gonna float there forever in space. So, this guy has to have the key, right? No, it, it's the very last guy? Okay. So, ooh, it's a land of squarks, so... Oh, man, I got shot before I could even do anything about it. There is no Jolly Wheel of Fun. Stop it. Ooh, that's actually good. Uh, let's see if I can use switch something out for that. Uh, this will actually be useful. So, 20 health. I had the room for it. So, let's just oh, jump hit and jump hit and jump hit. Please, one of these have the keys because I don't want to... No? Okay, let's just... Scuttle to a world of pure imagination, and please have the key. This, th that would be so convenient. No, no one. This is my one of my longest floors so far. Come on, man. It's time. People are waiting on you. Here we go. Floor 50. We're halfway through, and I've been recording for about 27 minutes, so that one took a bit longer. The Thudley card. So let's just keep on going. Oh, this guy. What does this guy want? Uh, sell big, sell now. Uh, sell, select a product to buy. What do I need? I don't need any of this. I'm good. We're gonna keep plunging further. 